So what we have here are two boxes lying on top of a table. Say one of the boxes is four kilograms and the other is six kilograms. And now we exert a force of 10 Newton on the four kilogram mass. And we are asked to find what is the acceleration of each box or the acceleration of the system. Now, how you should approach such problems is to first draw a free body diagram of both the masses. So let us go ahead and make the free body diagram for the four kilogram mass first. Well, one of the forces acting on it that is quite clear is 10 newtons in this direction. But we can also see that the four kilogram mass is exerting a force on the six kilogram mass. And as a result, according to Newton's third law, there should be an equal and opposite force acting on the four kilogram mass due to the six kilogram mass. So let's label this force as F6 force or the force exerted by the six kilogram mass on the four kilogram mass. Now we will draw a similar free body diagram for the six kilogram mass. And what you'll find is there's only one force acting on it and that's due to the four kilogram mass. So let's label this force as F46 or the force acting due to the four kilogram mass on the six kilogram mass. But we also know that from Newton's third law that when two bodies are interacting, the force acting on each other is equal in magnitude, but opposite in direction. So the magnitude of F46 and F64 should be the same. So let's label these as just F instead of F64 and F46. So here are the free body diagrams of both the masses. Now, some of you might think, why have we not taken this force that is exerted by the four kilogram mass on the six kilogram mass? And the simple answer is that when you draw a free body diagram, you only mark the forces acting on the object and not what the object is exerting on any other mass or object. Now, let's go ahead and write the equation F net is equal to MA for each mass. So for the four kilogram mass on the left hand side, what you'll get is a force of 10 Newton acting in the right direction and we take it as positive and the force small f acting in the left direction. So we will label it minus F and this should equal its mass, which is four kilograms into the acceleration, which is a result of this force. Now, if you write a similar equation for the six kilogram mass, you have only one force that is F and this should equal six into the acceleration A. Now you notice I've taken same value of acceleration for both four kilogram mass as well as the six kilogram mass. And this makes sense because if the six kilogram mass had a different acceleration, let's say it was more than A, then what would happen is that the six kilogram mass would kind of run away from the four kilogram mass and there'll be no interaction. But here the premise is that there is an interaction. Likewise, if the acceleration of six kilogram mass was less than A, then it would actually crash into the four kilogram mass. So the fact is that both the masses are moving with the same acceleration A and the whole system is also moving with the same acceleration. Now let's go ahead and add these two equations and solve for acceleration A. And what you get is A is equal to one meters per second square. And if we substitute the value of A in equation two, we can also find the force of interaction or simply the force exerted by each box on each other. And that would equal six Newton. Okay, another important thing to clarify is that I have seen some students think that since 10 Newton force is acting on the four kilogram mass, it's acting on six kilogram mass as well. And the reason they give is that this 10 Newton force is being transmitted through the four kilogram box. This is not correct. These are two separate interactions. One is the force of 10 Newton on the four kilogram mass and the other is between four kilogram and the six kilogram mass. Therefore, the only force acting on the six kilogram mass 
is due to the 4 kilogram mass. So what you need to remember here is that when you draw a free body diagram, just include the forces which are acting on the body. Do not invent your own forces. Do not add forces which are not acting. So if you want to become a force Jedi, don't forget to check out this playlist on Newton's laws. Also, please give that thumbs up button some action and reaction. That will be helpful. And see you in the next lesson.